Hi, okay, my clerk friend Alice of Alice Project Hair and now her rebranded store Astrology sent out some previews for friends and bloggers pack to me. Oh my goodness, a month, maybe two months ago, I don't know, it seems like a really long time. And I put it on and I couldn't figure out the custom HUD and I meant to ask her and I forgot. So I finally have asked her. So she went and did a video for me to show me how to do it and now I'm going to try it on my own. And just in case I actually figure it out, I thought I'd tape it so that maybe I could help other people because Alice is always way ahead of her time. Like every time she does new HUDs or whatever, you, you have to like figure them out because she scripts them and she does amazing things and they're always different than anyone else on the grid is doing and so it, they're not just easy to figure out you have to anyway so she actually does something manual and I swear I looked at this before I clerked her and said hey like tell me how to do this stuff because I can't figure it out anyway but she does have a manual here um, I don't know it didn't click for me so here we go um, First of all, one of the things that I'm going to do differently than when I tried before is I'm not going to wear the hair, I'm going to wear a demo hair because I want to try out the colors before I actually pick the colors that I'm going to wear. There we go. Does that happen to you guys sometimes? Second Life like just won't attach stuff for like a while. Okay. So then, alright, so this is horror. So I'm going to attach the custom HUD. Now, why this is so different and innovative is because nobody's ever done anything like this. And basically, the idea is you get to pick your 20 favorite colors out of all the astrology colors, and there's billions of them. Alright, so the first thing that she said was to click down here. Now, I tried that before and nothing happened. Or, or I just messed up, I don't know. Alright, so yes, your object name, Astrology Horror HUD color loader. Yay! It worked this time. <laughs> I think it was operator error. It wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't the HUD. All right, so now I'm going to add that. No, actually I'm going to put that in this folder because, yeah, I don't want it to be not there. Okay, and it says loading, please wait because, yeah, Wow, okay, this is a bit daunting. There are so many colors here, and I don't know what they are, so I'm really going to have to play with them. I'm going to show a little bit of that and not all of it, so anyway. Time to play with colors. Woohoo! Let's get a little closer. Closer. Here we go. Maybe not that close. Okay. Alright, I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit so I can see my hair as I play with colors. Alright, so it's no news to anyone. I don't think that I usually wear blonde, so oh, it's pretty. Nice blonde right out of the, right out of that. A little bit lighter. But I like that these blondes are not, ooh, look at that, that might be it. I like that these blondes are not yellow. I like yellow blondes. All right, after much deliberation, this middle blonde right here is my favorite color. So that's going to go top, front, and center right here. I also like this one that is blonde with brown, you know, darker tips. Blonde with pink tips, definitely. Over here we have street colors, and I really love all these, so I want them all.
Then down here we have this blonde with multicolored streaks that I thought was really pretty and multicolored base colors down here kind of which I thought was really pretty. All right, then I'm going to add um, a few wild colors, purple and blue, and pink and purple, just because those are pretty. And then it's time for some blacks, because that's pretty much the other color that I think I would wear. And I think that is everything. I think I'm good. All right, so I have to go over here and take the demo off. And I have to put on the actual hair. Maybe I don't have to do that. I don't know. Anyway, I have to have the custom HUD on, though. Over here. Okay. This is the hard part because once colors are loaded into the custom color HUD, the HUD is locked and more colors cannot be added. You have to buy a new pack if you want to add different colors or change your colors or whatever. Ooh, okay. Click the load button. Oh, there it is. Okay, load. Okay, and it drops down and asks you, are you really sure you want to do it? Yes, I guess so. I clicked load HUD. Terrifyingly enough. Oh, okay, there we go. There's my custom HUD. Please wait. All right, now all settings are loaded. HUD is ready to use. And I can go ahead and click. And I'm done with this, so I can detach it. And now I have those 20 colors that I picked in my custom HUD from Astrology. That was actually kind of cool and definitely way ahead of its time as I surmised it would be. All right, so this HUD also has some other options up here. It has part skin tone. where you can make it look like you have skin and maybe I'll use this color to go with my skin. All right, and then it also has uh, right and left so you can color the two sides So I can make left, black, and I can make right, pink and purple. I think you'll see the part better too, since I made it colored. It also colored the baby hairs. <laughs> the different colors. You can turn those baby hairs and edges on and off also, or you can just pick a random color from your 20. If you're not sure what you want to do for the day, it will decide for you. Which is kind of fun. So, Astrology Custom HUD. Because you're special, baby. Ha, ha, ha.